In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Epson EcoTank printer ET2400 series with your smartphone. This works with Android, but also with iPhone. So let's get started right away. Go on your device, iPhone, Android, and download the Epson Smart Panel app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Do not open it yet. Okay, for the next step, it depends if your printer is brand new and you didn't connect to any other devices in the past, you just need to keep this Wi-Fi button pressed during three seconds until the light over, over here starts blinking and the printer will be in pairing mode. If this printer has been used in the past with other devices, you can reset the Wi-Fi before putting the printer into pairing mode and to reset the Wi-Fi you need to keep press this I button and this power button both at the same time for about five seconds until the lights over here start flashing. Once they start flashing you can release these buttons, wait three minutes, the light over here will stop flashing and the Wi-Fi has been reset. Then you can go ahead and keep press, and I'll do it with you, keep press this Wi-Fi wi button during about four seconds until the light starts um, flashing. Okay, you see, there's a light I can release, and now by flashing this way, it just means that the printer is in pairing mode. Therefore, we can go on the smartphone to finish the setup. So I'll go ahead and open the app we just downloaded press agree, ok, next, next, here I'll press while using the app, next, ok, next, allow, there's many buttons to press, I wish it was easier, but this is how they made it, and now um, the app will search for the printer, that's not the printer, that's another Epson printer I have. We're looking for the ET2400. If the app didn't found your printer, press on product not found, then uh, press on search again. Make sure that these lights are flashing. And if after this, uh, the app still didn't find your um, printer, press on this arrow here. select use tiles and this is the main menu of the app now we need to connect the printer obviously so I'll press this plus symbol on top then here you can say no and press on set up a new product press continue and here you should see your printer. So if you didn't see it the first time, the first way, by doing this second different way, you should see it. I don't know why, maybe it's a problem with the app, but anyway, at least we found our printer, the ET2400 series. Then press yes. If it's the first time setting up this printer and you have just put the new ink from the bottles in the ink tanks, you'll have a small dialogue on the screen telling you um, to initialize the ink. It takes about 11 minutes. I already did it for this printer, so this is why I don't see this, uh, this message. What I see here now is to connect it to the Wi-Fi. So I'll click on proceed to Wi-Fi connection settings. Press next. Make sure that this is the name of your Wi-Fi network at home and then press yes if it is. Now it's time to put the Wi-Fi password of your network. Press next, next, yes, next. And now type the Wi-Fi password. Once you're done, press OK. Epson made this setup looking like you have a conversation with them. It's a bit weird, to be honest. Then press yes here to confirm. It will now try to connect the printer to your Wi-Fi network. Then you should get this message that is saying Wi-Fi setup is complete and the smartphone and the product are connected. 
This means that everything went well, so press next. If there is a new firmware available for your printer, they'll ask you to install it, press yes, it's always good to have the last firmware, press agree. It will download and then it will install it. It, it simply takes about two minutes, so not too much time lost here. And now we are on the main screen of the app. Let me show you how to print and also how to scan with the Wi-Fi. So to print, very easy, I mean, you have this big button here say print, then you have to choose if it's a picture or a document you want to print. Now this will open and you need to find a document you want to print on your smartphone. If, like in my case, you do not have the file on your smartphone, you can always connect a flash drive to it and find it this way. So let's say I want to print this document. Once you're on this page, before pressing the print button, click on the top right corner where you see letter size paper. And here you'll be able to edit many different options, not only the paper size. So uh, at first here, do not touch anything, paper size, make sure this is the right size of paper. Then under media type, make sure this is the type of paper you're going to use. This is very important, especially if you're going to use this uh, printer to print pictures on glossy paper. If you do not select glossy paper from here and you're printing on glossy paper, while well, you're going to have a mess, the ink will smear. In my case, this is plain paper, so I'll so I'll leave it this way. Layout, you can leave it the way it is. Print quality, this is another important thing. You have the choice between standard and high. If you're just printing text or maybe a document with some graphics, like the one I will print in just a few seconds, I think standard is pretty fine. But if you're printing pictures, choose high. It's always better to have the best quality, especially when it counts. Paper source, leave it to automatic and color. While well, this is just in case you want to print in black and white, you can select here black and white and color. I'll leave it to color. Then you can select the number of copies you want. Before pressing start, make sure your printer has some paper um, loaded in the back and extend this paper tray as well before doing that. And now I'll press start. And here we go, we have the print that looks exactly like the one that is on my smartphone screen. Now let me show you how to scan. The scanner is located on the top here, you just need to lift this lid, take the document you want to scan and you're going to place it facing down and you see there is an arrow over here. You need to glide the corner of your paper towards that arrow until it touches it like this, okay? So the paper is aligned with the arrow. Then close the lid. And by the way, if you want to make a copy, you just need to put paper there and select over here if you want the copy to be in color or in black and white. If you simply want to scan it on your phone, gonna press the green scan button on the main menu of the app. And here are some options. Under document size, make sure this is the right size uh, of a document, the one that you have input on the scanner. Image type, select if you want a scan to be in color. Resolution here, press on it. If you're scanning pictures or maybe a document like an artwork or a graphic that has a lot of details, I suggest you select the highest, which is 600 dpi. This will take more time to scan, but it will give you the best details. If you're simply scanning text or just a document like the one I just put there, which is text mixed with some graphics, well, you can leave it to 200 dpi. This is plenty enough for this kind of situation. Then you have remove background. In our case, it's not important, but if you had a picture, let's say, with a lot of white background around and you want to isolate the, the picture, you can select remove background. Automatic rotation, it's up to you to keep it on and off. It's not important since we can rotate the scan afterwards. Finally, you have image format. So if you're scanning text, choose PDF. If you're scanning pictures, 
choose a JPEG. TIFF is not widely used. Finally, press the green button here when you're ready. And here we have the scan. Once you get this preview, you can delete it if you're not happy with the results. You can also zoom in to see if there's enough detail for you. If you find that it's not enough, you just have to choose a higher DPI number the way I showed you previously. You can also crop it if you just want a portion of this page to be saved. And you can also rotate it by pressing this button over here. Finally, if you're scanning a document, let's say with 10 pages or 20 pages or even 50 pages, and you want to combine them in one single document, one single PDF, you just need to press the plus button here and redo the same thing we just did. So lift the cover, take this out, put the next page, scan it, and all your scans will appear one after another here and they'll be combined at the end. Then press next, give this file a new name, and then location is where you want this scan to be saved on your phone. So press on this and select the folder on your phone where you want this to go. You can also create a new folder if you want to have a specific folder just for your scan. Like this. Then I'll click use this folder, allow and press save. You'll get this confirmation message saying that the file has been saved. Press yes, and we're back on the home screen. Finally, one thing that you may have to use um, while owning this printer is print head cleaning. Uh, if your print heads get clogged, which means that you're gonna see some white lines on your pictures or even on some text, this simply means that your print head are getting clogged. It means that you're not using your printer enough. Sometimes after only a week or two weeks, you're gonna see those lines appearing. You simply need, need to go under print head cleaning here and click yes. Just be aware that doing this often is not great because it will use, every time it perform a print head cleaning, it uses um, a small amount of ink. So if you're doing this often, it can accumulate and you're gonna waste a lot of ink doing that. So make sure you print often, this way you don't have to clean your print heads. And finally, the last thing I want to show you is, you see there's an image of your printer on top, you can click on it and have access to different features that are not used very often, but it's good to know that you have access to them from here. So this is it. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to support my channel, check the Amazon affiliate links in the description down below to get some new ink for your printer or maybe some paper as well. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.